Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless, and today I'm going to show you how to create this wonderful calendar. You could do baby photos, family photos, or all your artwork, and it makes a great gift. So let's get started. So the first thing I did was I went to a site, and it's called Free Vectors, and I have the link below, and this is it right here, up here. And I, because I search for calendars, I search for vector calendars. Now, it's not that easy to work with, and you might find another one that's easier, but for this one, I'm going to show you how it works. I chose this first one right here, which is, uh, I guess, the British symbol, British flag, so it's in English. So I clicked on that. And be careful of all this Shutterstock and everything else. They want to charge you for things. All you have to do is click free download this file now. So I did that and it was in my download folder. So let's close this up. And if I open my download folder, this zip file appeared and I unzipped it and it's an EPS. Now I tried to open that in Affinity Photo. And I said open, and I went to my download folder. Where am I? Here we go. And let's list it. And it doesn't even show up. I can't figure out why it didn't show up. So instead what I did was I went to my download folder and dragged the EPS file on the Affinity Photo program. And there it was, it opened up in Affinity Photo. Now the nice thing about this is it's all vector, so you can resize it any way you want. But here was the weird thing, and I don't know why they made this so difficult. If I wanted to select certain things, like, like I, can, I don't need 2017, so I just selected that group and I hit delete. And then I grabbed another, oops. Then I grabbed another group, but that, had, that, that included 2020. Here's what I want, 2020. And I went down the line, and I'm saying, why are they, like, mixing and matching? So here's how I solved that problem. I grabbed each group and took it out of that top layer, one at a time, just like this. That last one obviously has some hidden stuff. So it looks like when I delete this hidden one, I can get rid of that last layer. I just hit delete. So now they're still in those weird grouping kind of things. So I selected them. I don't even know if this one does anything. No, we can delete that. That's the original layer. Oops. Let's delete that. So now I have the four groups here. If I, if I select them all holding shift like that, the first one and last one, I right click and say ungroup. And it takes a second because I've ungrouped every single thing now. So now I can just drag, and it may take a while because there's a lot of vector graphics here. Basically, I'm trying to get rid of anything I don't want. And then I hit delete. Normally, Affinity is very, very quick, but every one of these things is another piece of vector. So I am basically trying to drag and get rid of each one of these and hit delete. And I don't need 2021 because I'm going to be working on 2020 only. And we don't even need the 2020. We know what we're using. So I know this is a lot of work to get started, but you only have to do this once. And once you did it, you keep the file and you can use it over and over again. So now I just took all the vectors in January and did Control or Command G and called it January. And then I took all the February and grouped that control of command G and called it February. Okay. And you get the idea. I'm not going to all of them. So now I have, if I want January, I have that. If I want February, I have that. So now let's open up. Now how I got this was now I opened up a new file, file new. And I chose a print document portrait at 8.5 by 11, 300. You can choose anything you want. Here's a blank page. And what I did next was I wanted to create a template. So I chose a rectangle. And I'll give it a color. It doesn't really need it, but it helps to see what we're doing here. Let's go lighter. 
and that's where I wanted that and then I went back to this file that we just created now remember you should save this file so you should like keep these in the file you can shrink you can shrink the page any way you want but you should save this so I, I touched the January group and I said copy control or command C and went back to the oops back to the new file what did I do here it is and paste it and since it is vector it will not distort you could just pull it out as far as you want so I'm guessing that looks pretty good I'll try to center it make sure this is also centered and then I did then I went into stock photos you can go anywhere you want uh, Affinity Photo now allows you to pull free stock photos and I I so I did a search for baby in this case and I grabbed this photo dragged it out and let's go back to our layers now in our layers I clipped it to that rectangle so that every page is going to be matching so I use that and again I can I could size this anywhere I want uh, I could choose there or this way if I want the baby not to be centered depending on the photo you choose I also took that group which has that clipping in it and I did a, um, effects and I gave it outline and something like that and it's as simple as that and because this is vector remember it is a vector uh, you can select certain parts you can't do it this way I mean because these are group but you can you can actually, if you hold the control or command key down, you can select something in a group if you wanted to change the color, for example. If I wanted that to be, let's go up here, if we want that to be uh, blue or whatever color, you can change them. The problem with that is you have to change them in everything individually. So, well, you don't really. You can select, the, you can select all this January. Let's, let's undo that and see if we can work it this way. Let's undo that. You see all the January here. You might be able to group that and maybe, I'm not sure it'll work, and change that. Oh, it does. So there's an easy way to do that. You can change that color as just by placing it in a group. So I like that. That's something I'm even learning. You can, you can add some other graphics anywhere. You can do all kinds of things. If you want this to be on top of a graphic, you can change these colors maybe to white with, with a shadow so it shows up but it's a simple easy way to make a fun gift so we're already 2020 is coming up and it's a nice time to try that so I hope you like this tutorial and if you did please click like and subscribe and have a good day